Okay. All right, so Sean, uh, beautiful day out at Memorial Park in Colorado. Yes. Uh, so you just recently went to Nationals and you won. Right? Yeah. So one, I just want to know, congratulations, but Thank how you. did that feel? Uh, it was pretty amazing, actually, yeah, because I've been four times, two for four zero, one for four five, and then four five mix. So yeah, it was amazing to actually finally win. Nice, that's awesome. Oh, so it was in mixed doubles. It was mixed doubles. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. All right. Well, that's exciting. So Sean here, the reason I wanted him on this channel is he was a 4-0 when I met him like two and a half years ago, and he climbed all the way to the number one spot in the nation at 4-0, and he recently went to 4-5, and as you heard, he just won 4-5 national. So we might be saying bye to him soon as he <laughs> maybe goes to 5-0 so quickly, right? Um, so a couple of things I wanted to ask, like one, what's the... What was the biggest thing that helped you grow from that spot in 4 to the number one spot? Like, what do you think helped you the most type, type of dominate the 4 level? I would probably say my mentality of playing. Um, after I won a couple tournaments, I always thought when I went out there that I could always win all of them because it's pretty much the same players. But also, too, um, my consistency got better. I'm just drilling with higher level players like yourself and doing some Top Gun stuff um, over at Lifetime. It really helped me improve my consistency. And shout out to Denton, best pro in town. Nice. Agree with that. Right. Consistency is key. Uh, a lot of players talk about their mentality. That's a good point. 70% of tennis is mental, right? So I like that you said that. Um, and now that you've been in competing in 4-0, or I mean 4-5 and even at the highest level in 4-5, what's the difference between the 4-0 and the 4-5 high level? I think a lot of the difference is for 4 a lot of the guys go out there and try to hit the ball as hard as they can, and they see the power on TV and stuff. And so I think the biggest difference for me is starting to um, realize that point construction means a lot at 4-5, and also, too, the consistency is even a bigger thing at the 4-5 level because if you're not consistent, nobody's the power is all the same, so nobody's going to be scared by your power. No one's going to be scared by your serve because they're going to get it back. So... Um, just point construction, coming to the net, and um, really just trying to maintain the consistency. Excellent. All right. What kind of got you into tennis? Tell me about your tennis background, a little bit about it. All right. So I started I started playing tennis my junior year of high school. And the reason why I started playing tennis is because I was a multi-sport athlete. I played basketball. Um, I was playing soccer at the time. And I also played baseball. And so my basketball coach actually recommended me to go play tennis to work on footwork, which was a good thing. Um, but I always watched tennis. I always loved the game. Um, I grew up idolizing Serena Williams, which is why she's tatted on my arm. Um, just her. Oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, show that off, man. Show that off. All right. So, um, just one of my biggest inspirations. And so I just loved her mentality as a tennis player and all the things that she overcame. Um, watching King Richard and all that stuff and so she's really cool and so I just idolized her and so she really drives me to still play so that's why I love tennis all right excellent um all right any any shout outs anything else you want to add uh the only thing I would add is um nationals was really cool but it's shout out to my partner Allie she's um a high level four five um player in Denver and she actually taught me a lot in mixed doubles and um, really got me to be a better mixed doubles player with a mentality of 75%. You don't have to go for everything. So hashtag 75. Oh, actually, I also want to ask. So you play primarily singles, but you did win at doubles. What's the biggest difference uh, in doubles and singles? Good question. The biggest difference between singles and doubles, mixed doubles specifically, since that's the one you won. Um, mixed doubles, is, I feel like it's a completely different game. Um, I can't really pinpoint a difference on it. I just, I really feel a lot of strategy goes into mixed doubles because a lot of times people often think they're going to go out there and play the girl because she's obvious, they think she's going to be the weaker player. But in some cases, in a lot of cases, that's not the case, especially for me and my mixed partner. I mean, my mixed partner is going to nationals for singles right now for 18 and over, which is great. So, and she's gotten second at nationals. So I think just, you know, different strategy again, um, really pinpointing who you're going to target and what you're going to target. All right. Awesome. It is a really windy day. We're going to go to finish this up. We're going to go do a swing vision match, post the coolest high nights, you know, to have a fun one. Shout out to my cat Noctis. All right, let's go.
So, pretty solid match, <laughs> right? Definitely one of the tougher opponents. Uh, it was really windy today, so we'll have to play again. Yes. When it's not just like all over the place. Um, hopefully you want to do the racket swap. I have an idea, racket swap. We swap oh, rackets nice. and then okay. we play match. So I think that'll be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I mean, shit, I feel like I played well. Uh, had to hit the ball extra hard on this side, loosen it up over there, interesting. Serves felt great over there, I think, for both of us. Yes, we both yeah. held almost like 40 every time over there. And over here, it was like a battle. Uh, what do you think? Interesting. I'll I didn't listen first. to my own advice. I didn't yeah. get to the net at all. <laughs> well, I love going to the net, but Sean keeps the ball very deep, so I didn't really come to the net at all. I usually like to come every, like, at least every seven points or somewhere around then. Uh, every approach shot I always come in, if you know, watch the match, I didn't get really any approach shots. So that's a really good thing you did. Uh, especially at the high level four or five, you gotta do that. Anything short, we take advantage of, right? Yeah. So I think you did awesome on that. Uh, thoughts, I guess. What are our thoughts? Just a beast, you're a beast, Jaren. Thank you. As are you, Sean. <laughs> All right. We will play again yes. for Racket Swap. Uh, Where's your doubles next time? Let's do doubles. Doubles? Okay, some dubs. I'm down for dubs. I'm down for anything. All right. Adios. Sign it out.